You know, I, I first started noticing this trend um, probably around this time, or not this time, or more so April, maybe April or May of last year. You know, you'd, you'd see like an article or two and then photos would surface on social media. And I remember at the time, um, you know, I, I really didn't understand like how could people be so hateful and how could people, you know, have this this anger and this racism just because they're stereotyping that, you know, with, with coronavirus, you know, being in the midst of the pandemic, people are saying that, you know, it's Chinese or Asian Americans fault that, you know, this virus is here. And I think, you know, obviously a lot of that was due to the fact that the person who used to be in charge of this country had a lot of nasty rhetoric every time he, you know, he was on stage. And then, you know, a lot of xenophobic comments and, you know, people, that's why it's so important when you're a person of power, when you're in a position of power that, you are mindful of the things that you say because people take that as facts. People take that as truth and people follow in your footsteps. And, you know, it, it just for me to see this also to continue, um, you know, to, to this year as well, because I, I I think I just saw um, just a couple of days ago on some of my friends, like Instagram stories, it's more more have surfaced, especially here in the Bay Area, um, a lot yeah. of, um, you know, a lot of violence, especially Asian American elderly too. You know that the fact that it's happening to a lot of elderly people, I think, is what I just couldn't understand why it was happening. And basically, you know, as I've th thought about this in these last couple of weeks, um, I, I'm, I'm just reminded. I can't help but remember, you know, my grandma or remember my mom, and you know, thinking about their safety. Like, what if they're the ones going out in the street? Um, and me feeling like if I'm not if I'm out with my mom, is she gonna get jumped? You know, walk, walking in the middle of San Francisco or something like that. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, these are definitely um, you know dangerous. It, it's it's dangerous in in some of these communities um, to know that you know this this kind of stuff is happening and that it's being captured on camera. Um, you know, people have photos of it, and I I I think I'm also at the same time also mindful and cognizant of the fact that. We also have to be careful in how we approach um, some sense of healing um, in this because I, I've seen that um, sometimes people are like, um, if, if you find this person, go contact the cops and, and stuff like that. So we also have to remember that um, it's not the cops that are gonna save us or help us in, in this, these kinds of situations. It's more so how do we um, heal our communities together so that, or educate people also and remove the, the ignorance that's, that's existing and you know, a lot of people's mindsets and how they view other people. And I think you know, one of the first steps that we can do is definitely to educate people so that you know, th this ignorance um, doesn't exist and people aren't racist towards, you know, certain communities. And I, I want to also remind people to to be mindful of the fact that, you know, this isn't a moment where we should be pointing fingers and saying, mm -hmm. this community is attacking the Asian American community. Mm -hmm. Like, that's not going to solve anything. Um, If anything, what's more important right now more than ever is to build solidarity, especially with the Black community. We need to make sure that, you know, we stand in solidarity with them. Because as if, if anything, as we saw with last year, there's still, you know, a, a very big problem in this country, whether it it's around police brutality or mm -hmm. more so in the bigger picture of just racism. Um, we're all people of color um, at the end of the day, um, you know, that, that, that's in this conversation. Um, you know, we're, we're minorities in this country and solidarity, I think, is going to be is very important in order for us to move forward, um, definitely in, in terms of um, peace and healing.